This is a foam isolation ball. It goes over the microphone, it's like a portable booth. Now do these things really, really work? The short answer is hell yeah they do. Now why would we wanna use one of these versus just recording just with a pop filter just out in the middle of the living room, which I've done and I do all the time. There's a lot of advantages, there are a few disadvantages. Now the first advantage being is that this creates a studio booth around your microphone. The second thing is that this fixes a lot of bad acoustics from a room. Now, as you can see, I am in the middle of my living room and sometimes I'll just record without one of these on and I'll pick up a lot of weird sound from the room. So that could be a huge, huge advantage when I slap on one of these on top of my mic because it'll eliminate all of the sound of the weird quirky sounds that I get from the room. Another thing is, is sometimes I like to record with microphones that have higher frequencies, such as the MXL 990. When I record with that microphone, it has a bit of a, a higher end than other microphones. It's not as flat as other microphones, but I slap this on there and it'll make the tone, it'll kind of dampen the frequencies on the higher end, giving me the sound like a TLM 103. Not quite the same sound, but it'll kind of give me that darker presence. So it, it almost creates a different microphone when you put one of these over top of a microphone. And the last advantage is that these things are very, very portable. I could take this anywhere. I could record in the car. I can record in hotel rooms. I've even recorded outside with one of these things. These things are incredibly, incredibly portable. We can make music. It's possible to make music anywhere using one of these. And on top of that, these things are very, very cheap. And last but not least, these things are way cheaper than building a traditional booth. Now, if I were to build a portable booth in here, I would either have to use a closet or either I would have to build like a whisper room in the middle of my living room, which would occupy space. And it would cost thousands of dollars. So this thing is a fraction of the price, hundreds of dollars, but it's well worth the price. Now, what are the disadvantages? There are a few disadvantages of using one of these things. First disadvantage being is that it does create a muddier, darker tone on a microphone. If you're not going for that sound, there's a couple of ways that we can eliminate that. We can either back up a little bit from the mic because we know that recording closer to uh, any kind of mic source makes the sound a little bit darker. So what I tell people, um, if you don't like that darker, muddier presence, just back up just a little bit. You'll get a lighter sound. You might have to bump up your preamp or either bump up the sound volume within your DAW, um, but you'll get a lighter sound. All you have to do is just back up a little bit. And another disadvantage that I found is that, you know, in traditional studio booths, you get this, especially if they're acoustically treated right, you get these nice frequencies, especially if you put the microphone, if you have a multi-pattern microphone and you put it on like omnidirectional, you'll get these, you'll get this dope frequencies that bounce off the wall that give the sound a different kind of presence. You don't really get that with one of these. You kind of like get whatever's in your face and it makes any kind of microphone like a true cardioid type of microphone. Cardioid being that it only records what's in front of it. So, you know, um, that's what you lose when you don't record in the booth and you record with one of these. But all in all, these are a great investment. As a matter of fact, let's pull up a sound example. I'll go and record with it and without it and let you guys be the judge for yourself. Now that I got a session pulled up, I'm recording it on my Pro Tools presets. If you guys want to learn more about how to save time, energy, money on your recording process, how to record with little knowledge, check out in the description below. But let's get into it. I got a session pulled up and I'm gonna record with this on and then I'm gonna yank it off and just use the filter on it and then record like that. You guys can see the difference. So you just be judged for yourself. Baby, I want you. 
going through. Now that you have the opportunity to hear what it sounds like with an isolation ball and without an isolation ball, what do you guys think? Put your comments in the comment section below and tell me what you think, if it was an advantage or a disadvantage to recording one of these. But now if you guys like this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I'm always dropping new videos every day, every other day to give you guys more value. But it's your boy Federo. Keep making music. Keep hustling.